Hi YouTube, welcome to DigiTales, I'm Olivia and this week it was my birthday! Yay! <laughs> and today we're going to unbox and review for you guys a new Indiegogo um, thing. <laughs> And today we're going to unbox and review for you guys the new Vico VR headset and motion tracking sensor uh, that we got from Indiegogo. So, yay! <laughs> So 3DV is based in Palo Alto, California. They managed to raise a total of $88,000. Uh, their goal was $75,000. So they managed to do 117% of their target, which is quite impressive. So we have the uh, wireless full body motion tracker here. And this is the VR headset in this box, which we will unbox shortly. So what makes this quite a unique product is the fact that the Vico VR is the first full body motion tracking system for a mobile VR headset. So just a few more facts. Um, so it's completely wireless and there's no wearable sensors or anything either. It does support um, up to two players so you can play with some friends and it's compatible with Android, iOS and Smart TV. So let's get on with unboxing it. Okay, so there's some instructions. I'll have a look at those in a minute. This is what it looks like when you open it up. So I'm gonna pull the sensor out first. So that's probably the most interesting piece. Whoop. Right, there we go. So it definitely looks quite a bit like uh, the Kinect, Microsoft Kinect. Whoops, doesn't mean it's not gonna stay on there. Put on that one. <laughs> Uh, but I think it's actually a bit smarter looking and it's smaller. It's got a nice kind of silver finish, which is cool. Um, what else do we have in here? Okay, that's just the uh, cable to plug it in, the power. Now let's have a look at the headset. Okay, whoops. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is the headset, it's very, very lightweight. It's got a nice cushion here, so it should be quite comfortable to wear. Assume you just slot your phone into that slot there. Cool, that's it. I think it looks actually, it's okay, it's quite smart. It's very, very lightweight. I think you'll hardly be able to tell that's on your head. What else is in the box? Some more instructions. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a bit as well. And something to keep it clean. <laughs> that's it so now we'll try and set it up and um we'll see what some of the games are like so it seems like we've hit our first glitch in that uh we can't actually see how it's compatible with my iphone it does say it is in the instructions and on their website but there's some clear instructions about how to set it up with android and there's a little qr code to tell you to where to find the app and download it but there's nothing that talks about how to actually pair your iPhone with the um, the motion sensor. So I'm not entirely sure how to set it up. And then I noticed in the second little instruction book thing that came with the headset, that there's something in here that says, iPhone user search keyword VR at App Store, which is terrible English by the way, but also, <laughs> If you search VR in the App Store, do you have any idea how many games and applications actually show up in the results? <laughs> so uh, that's been a bit of a non-starter. Thankfully, we do have an Android phone here, so uh, I'm going to try and attempt it with that now and see what happens. So I've got my Samsung S7 Edge Plus. I don't know what it is. What is it? So I've got my Galaxy S... <laughs> Right, so I've now got the Galaxy S7 Edge Plus and we managed to use a QR code to find the app very easily. So that's obviously much more straightforward on the uh, on Android. Um, but again, we had a few problems. So we, uh, we kept, we tried to play the games, but the Bluetooth connection kept dropping whilst we were playing and it would only last for 
seconds, literally. It was quite frustrating. So we updated the firmware on uh, the Vico VR uh, sensor. Still wouldn't work, still kept dropping. So then we decided to update the phone to Android 7. And now eventually it sort of started working, but that whole thing <laughs> took us probably about half an hour <laughs> just so we could actually get the thing to connect to the phone and actually not drop so we could play some games. So now we'll play some games and we'll let you guys know what we think. <laughs> Found in a tea pose. Woo! Can I move? Woo! Oh, I'm losing oxygen. Oh, how do I go higher? I can't go higher! So I just tried a few different games using the Daiko VR. So I did a ping pong game, uh, a game called Moonlight, which is the one where you guys saw me flapping my arms around like a bird. <laughs> and I also uh, did an archery game as well, uh, which was a little bit of fun. But I have to say, the I think the quality of the games that you can play right now with Daiko VR are probably on the same level as Google Cardboard, unfortunately. Um, I think that there's definitely an opportunity where they could look to improve the quality of the gameplay so it's more on par with something like the Samsung Gear, uh, which I think is actually in more of a similar price point as well. Um, the, the thing with the um, full body motion tracking though, that I thought was actually pretty great and if we could incorporate something like that with the Samsung Gear, I think we'd actually really improve that experience too. So. Overall, it was okay. Uh, I don't know if it was necessarily worth the um, money spent on <laughs> Indiegogo, but I'm hoping that with maybe some various different developments and upgrades, things might improve. So I guess the big question is, should you buy a Vico VR headset with the body tracking? Um, I think the headset itself is just kind of an upgrade basically from Google Cardboard. You can just buy this for like $30. It's quite cheap. Um, I think the motion tracking sensor that you get though actually really enhances the experience. However, I don't think the games that uh, Vico VR has right now are really that immersive. But I see it as actually a pretty good opportunity for developers out there to look at something like this and the motion body tracking sensor that it comes with to create something really amazing that could actually really compete with something like the Samsung Gear VR. So let us know in the comments if you guys have had any interesting VR experiences recently, or maybe what some of your favorite kind of Indiegogo or Kickstarters that have landed on your doorstep in the last few months. Um, also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. You can subscribe to our channel by hitting this button over here, and you can also watch some more of our videos like this one below.